Welcome to this week's edition of the Wheels and Deals Community Spotlight, brought to you by Wheels and Deals of Pomeroy and the Meg's Independent Press. This is Carrie Rose, the Meg's Independent Press, here again for Wheels and Deals Community Spotlight. And this week I have with me Tara Roberts, and we're talking about trade days. Because trade days is coming up again, and this is going to be an extra special one because you're going to have crafters there, there's going to be camping, there's going to be all kinds of things going on. So what, tell me about what's going on. Okay, so um, we have Christmas in July, and it is the 24th and 25th of July, which is next weekend. And camping starts on Friday, which is the 23rd. You can camp all, week lo all weekend long for $35. That includes electric and water. And then for our vendors, we have um, the craft show, we have the flea market, the trade days, and that starts on Saturday and it goes through Sunday. The gates open at seven every day and close at three. Um, we're looking for crafters, we're looking for direct sales, yard sales, flea market, pallet sales, all that. It's a little bit of everything. Yes. You've got, you, you may have somebody selling produce, you may have right. somebody selling garage sale type things. Yes. A uh, little bit of everything. Yes. And so far we have over 40 paid vendors that have signed up and we just have more coming every day. We also have two food trucks coming. So that will be nice for people. They can get their little taste of fair food. Mm -hmm. And um, for the, um, for the camping folks, we have a scavenger hunt for the kids. There's possibly a movie night. There might even be a special guest appear. Um, Santa might come, but there's a lot of fun there for the families and kids. It's a short trip out to the fairgrounds. You can make some memories the weekend and it should be a good time. And it's, it's quite, every, you just keep growing yes. with it and it just keeps expanding. Now, I know that you have people that are going to be there lo for their local, local vendors will be there, but you also have people that are coming from all over. Yes, um, so we know that we have a vendor from Kentucky coming, we have a vendor from Tennessee coming, we have several from down around um, Ironton, Proctorville area, obviously West Virginia and Ohio. Um, we have people that travel, you know, a couple hours, we have some from Charleston, we just, we're really reaching out there to get more than just Meigs County. So there's all kinds of things out there. There's gonna be, uh, of course, wonderful local crafters. And I know that every time I've been out there, uh, you just keep growing with that. And there's just, it, it's, there's all kinds of things. Yes, there's and everything you can imagine. There's always something different. And what's great about right now is, you know, Christmas will be here before you know it and what better opportunity to come out and support local vendors and knock some Christmas items off your list. It's never too early to start. It's never too early to start. Uh, also, if you're one of those people that really likes to decorate and go crazy for it, this is a great opportunity because I'm sure oh, there's yes. going to be some, some decorations there uh, and everything else. But also, it's just a great flea market. It's just a great all around uh, experience anyway. Yeah, and you know, all the proceeds that we collect goes directly to the fair. Um, we're all volunteers, and so we're just doing it to provide something to the community and to help out the fair along the way. And it's a great use of the grounds. I, Absolutely. I mean, you know, we, have, we are very blessed with very unique, beautiful fairgrounds in Meigs County, and it's just another way to be able to use that space. Right. And, and again, it is, uh, Tara is on the fair board and she's one of those volunteers. Mm -hmm. uh, I know in the past, a lot of times people say, oh, but you get paid to be on the fair board. <laughs> yeah. No, we no, don't. we just love the fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You don't get paid to, 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 uh, to do this. It's just uh, all volunteers and uh, working to make something memorable for, for kids, make, make opportunities uh, right. for youth and things through the fair. And there's just all kinds of different things that, that are gonna be going on. But I know that the last time they had camping, they even had a competition for light displays. Yeah, and I know they have an ugly Christmas t-shirt contest oh for those who are camping. So you can <laughs> get in the spirit of that. It's obviously similar to the ugly Christmas sweater, but it's t-shirt version since it's July. 
Um, and last year, the kids got to decorate um, gingerbread houses, and then it was hot, so they got into a water balloon fight. They play music for the kids, and they just have a really good time. So a lot of opportunity there to ha make some memories, and of course, just to go shopping if you yes. just want to go shopping. But you do have camping spaces. Yes, we have camping spaces available, and like I said, they're thirty-five dollars. You pull in on Friday afternoon, evening. You pull out on Sunday, so it's a nice weekend getaway. And um, you know, while you're there. Once trade days close, you can come down to Pomeroy and hit one of the local restaurants and just make a good good evening of it. There's a there's a lot of opportunity there to be able to uh, get away if you can, if you haven't been able to get away for a real full vacation. Yeah. This this is it. Right. <laughs> you can you can definitely uh, escape to the fair there for sure. And you know it's um, something that we like to promote is it's a it's a, an affordable. Mm -hmm. event so to be a vendor you can come for one day and set up or you can come the whole weekend and our prices range anywhere from fifteen dollars to thirty five dollars and we try to keep them lower just to help those folks you know because they want to make money too mm -hmm. and so it's something that's affordable because you know when you go to some of these bigger shows it can be quite pricey mm -hmm. and so we kind of pride ourselves on keeping it at that affordable rate. And you can do just the one day. Yes. As well. Also, uh, there's um, there's a lot of, uh, of course, we talked about the different vendors and everything else, but I know that there's different people involved because you want to contact yes. Stacy for the camping, but then, so how, what are all the, con what's uh, all the contact information? So um, you can find us on Facebook under Meigs County Trade Days. And for the trade days part of it, um, myself and Wendy Miller, we are the points of contact. For camping is Stacy Pullins and Olivia Davis. Okay. And But if you go to our Facebook page, you can find all that information. And something else that I might add is if you come and camp, um, we have talked to the local septic folks, our Portage on people, and they can come and pump your camper too. So okay. that makes it nice because I know some people were concerned about that. So that's available as well. We just have to let us know and we can contact them and they can run out. Is that a service? It, it's an fee? additional fee that you pay directly to them, but it um, makes it nice, you know, for those who travel far. So. So there's all kinds of things that are going to be coming up, and uh, give us the hours for trade days. So trade days is from 7 a.m. to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Vendors can come in on Friday and set up the night before, starting at 6 o'clock. And we tell everybody till 8, um, just so that we can, you know, make sure everything is secure, because we do lock the gates at night in the buildings, and that way people don't have to worry about their stuff. And then, like I said, the gates will open on Saturday morning at 7 and go to about 3, and same with Sunday. And if you come out there, you might also see the Junior Fair Board members wandering around because they're getting ready for the fair. So they have some work details that they're going to be doing, but they'll also be doing a fundraiser at Trade Days. Okay. Um, they've teamed up with one of our vendors who sells um, like laundry detergent and dish detergent. And so a portion of the, the sales from those items that weekend will go back to the Meigs County Junior Fair Board. Okay. So that's something to look forward to for them. And, you know, that stuff's really awesome. It's, you just use those little <laughs> pods and throw them in the wash and it's good quality stuff. So. And that's in, when they're fundraising for things, they're, they're working towards uh, the expenses that they have and things, but they also have a scholarship fund. They yes. also do other things. And, and that has, has helped a lot of our youth be able to, to help pay for those, those college expenses. Uh, and there's some really great leadership there with uh, the Junior Fair Board and, and the youth that have come through that through the years. Okay. So there's a lot of, again, it's Makes County taking care of Makes County and it's, it's uh, just that community spirit and that's something that you can definitely experience you go out to trade days. Uh, again, give us the dates and the time. It's July 24th and 25th from 7 to 3. And also, you're going to have uh, 
you have that every month except uh, for august except for august so <laughs> this one will be um this july and then we'll take the month off for august and we'll come back on labor day weekend and then we have a halloween event in october and we'll round out the year with a craft show um the saturday after thanksgiving okay and that's so there's all there's all kinds of things that are going to be coming up uh rock springs is going to be busy yes it is and uh, we will be back again next week. We're gonna talk a little bit more about the fair. We're gonna talk a little bit more about what's coming up and things that you absolutely don't wanna miss. So again, this has been Carrie Rose Makes Independent Press uh, with Community Spotlight, sponsored by Wheels and Deals, and we appreciate, as always, their sponsorship that makes Community Spotlight possible. This week's Community Spotlight is brought to you by Wheels and Deals of Pomeroy and the Meg's Independent Press.